Hi! Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Katran and Janae show. Here's Janae. And today we have a special guest. That young Sally. This is Eve. It is talk to you about boys, specifically UIC boys. Okay. They have issues. <laughs> or some of them do, anyways. Think? Okay, she needs time to think. When you're done thinking, just, you know, go ahead and think. Okay, so. Um. You like any time now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay, so. <laughs> um, so, my advice. Wait, what was your question? Well, if you want to give your opinion. On what? On it. And boys from UIC? Yes. The crushes. Crushes. Um, so how do you deal with crushes? Or Oh, so Eve has a question. How do we deal with crushes? How do you deal with them? Or how do you like deal with uh, rejection? Okay. Okay. And what is your experiences? You know, something, something. Um, how do you deal with crushes? Well, um, i say the best thing to do is to go find out if that person has a crush on you as well. Um... I say um, talk to that person first, you know, just get to know them or whatever, and um, hopefully they will, you know, want to hang out with you, ask them like, hey, let's go get some coffees and some pizzas or something, and then you guys go hang out and talky talk to you, and then be like, you know what, I think I like you, <laughs> and hopefully that person likes you, but then, if they don't, and they're like, oh, just kidding, I'm, put, I'm pressing the friend zone button. Oh, then, yeah. right? <laughs> All and the time. Then, and then you just say, um, skip. No, I'm not going to say it. But I say the best thing is to do, okay. You know, you just accept it. Show that that doesn't bother you. Um, just go on with your life. Just do you. I, I there wouldn't are say. more fish in the sea. Yeah, I wouldn't say. I mean, you don't have to ignore them or anything. But just like act like nothing happened. Just act like you guys have already been. That's the best way because it'll be awkward. Yeah. Like, excuse the noise in the background. We're at the commuter center. Yes. <laughs> it's only awkward if you make it awkward. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And the most important thing is you know, be their friend. And maybe one day they'll realize. That you were meant for them. That you were precious. Yes, that you were a pearl. And that they didn't know that they had you all wrong. That they mistook you. I'm still waiting for that day. <laughs> and, I mean, my own advice about crushes is that, I mean, well, about relationships in general, is that if you're in a relationship and then you're, um, you may let's say a mistake and then you want to break up with the person because no time and just the other person's acting stupid and then you ask them how they feel about you after the breakup and they said that they didn't know how they felt about you you want to punch them in the face can i i i, I want to punch them in the face um say like, okay that is you whoever she's talking about you know who you are you know <laughs> <laughs> not to put you on blast <laughs> but you know who you are and then with crushes, some people may take you for granted. Some people may um, think that you're... Remember that one with the coffee? Yeah. Yeah. They may think that you, you're overdoing stuff for no reason. <laughs> when all you want to do is, I mean, you're the, you, you just want to be friends. That's it. It doesn't have to go farther than that. You don't have to entirely reject somebody. I'm trying not to like crack up right now. <laughs> you crack up. I'm gonna... <laughs> they entirely reject your whole being. Mm -hmm. And then you like start talking to one of their friends and all of a sudden your friends think that you're stalking them or something. Exactly. And then it's so ridiculous that you just want to punch them on the face and with a brick or smash your face into the, <laughs> into the ground. <laughs> yeah. And... Yeah, there, there's that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then there's the whole friend zone, like Janae said. It's like, oh, okay, that's fine. Just act like nothing happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's the best thing you could do. Yeah. You know, be their friend. Didn't you have another question? Yeah, what question was it? Your last question. You answered two, but I don't have a friend question. How do you do... How do you deal with, well, you kind of already How to deal with crushes, how to handle rejection, and there was something wrong. 
Oh, what was your personal experiences? Yeah, yeah. I kind of kind of went into Yeah, it. she <laughs> did. I did. I did. I'd rather not. Oh, and then if you have well, a friend yeah. that um, that's flirting with you, or that that says that they want to flirt with you, <laughs> then I mean, just say K. <laughs> <laughs> just say K. <laughs> just I mean, unless you like them, then okay. But um, turn them down. Yeah. I mean, if you don't, then don't you can always them down slowly <laughs> and easily. So, um, for like okay. the, for like the. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm giving the opposite advice too. Yeah. I mean, like if somebody's coming up to you, I mean, okay, if somebody comes up to you and I mean they like you and you don't know how to turn them down or something, mm-hmm. just um, just. Turn, just kindly say I'm sorry you know I'm not I'm interested I'm not interested don't go and say sorry I'm not ready for a relationship but turn around the very next day with holding hands <laughs> <laughs> Eve is right I like, mean don't like which you, you want me go ahead you're, you're um, the guest speaker go ahead Okay. <laughs> Alas, <laughs> what she's saying is that I mean, if you um, if you like some somebody else, just go ahead and say that. Don't make up a stupid yeah, lie. I agree. Don't say that. Oh, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in being in a relationship right now. And then go post on Facebook or any uh, anything, or just say to a friend or something that oh, I want to be in a relationship with this girl, or whatever. And you're telling somebody else just kindly reject them and say I'm sorry I'm not interested in you um, we can be friends so there's nothing wrong with making a new friend and um, also you know I don't it depends on the person too <laughs> it depends on the person too like um, if you tell a lie they're gonna get mad at you oh yeah <laughs> So that to me, that's like the biggest lie. Oh, I'm not ready for a relationship. But yet, that's not true. When you've been asking your friend, hey, I you know I want a girlfriend to go help me find one, but but you reject the one that stuck up to herself or something, or like. She put herself basically. You're rejecting the one that you know is gonna be there for you. Who's putting herself out there, and you know who's giving you her feelings. Yeah. She's she's you know she's being the guy, whereas exactly. you guys are being weak. Whereas some are being weaklings, you know. And it's just ridiculous. And then you want to punch them in the face. <laughs> so if you have that, so guys out there, if there's that girl. Or girls, if there's that guy that really cares for you, don't just sit back and be like, hey. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> also, but and going back to this, you know, sparing somebody, don't spare somebody's feelings. Be straight up. Seriously. I mean, me personally, it pisses me off. Mm-hmm. I, I haven't tempered, but I mean, I, I, people still get pissed off. You know, when you spare their feelings with a lie, especially. Just don't. Um, do you have anything else? Do you have anything to um, input? No, I'm good. <laughs> I want to say more. You want to say more? What would you like to say? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. Here's another thing. Right, with relationship-wise. Oh, this is past nine minutes. Okay. Okay. Continuation. Yes. I Stop, mean. and then we'll be back <laughs> in ten minutes. <laughs> okay. So we'll be back. <laughs>